Hello, so we are back, finally Friday. I have a nice uh, laptop to fix, we have a Sony Vio, it's quite an old one. Uh, MD Vision uh, graphics and... Uh, no, processor, sorry, it's the 3 core processor and 80 Radeon graphics. What this is doing is not coming on. Now let's uh, test. <coughs> I don't have the charger, so I'll plug the power supply. Let's see if it's coming on with the power supply or not. Probably not, because that's why the laptop is here. And you can see on the power supply, it's taking 200 milliamps. I do have the charging light here. Pressing the power, it's not coming on. Nothing is just dead. And all what is taking 200 milliamps. Not sure where the 200 milliamps is going. This came here with issue slow charging not turning on i mean how the customer knows is slow charging if it's not turning this doesn't have like fast charge or slow charge it's just charging it's not usb c This is a nice laptop, it's a nice board to be fixed, okay? Let's plug the charger and check one more time. We have ground, we have plus. Without the battery, taking nothing. Okay, there's the power button. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Okay, so what do we check? Like basic diagnostic. Uh, yeah. First, our main power rail, which probably has to be here. And here is nothing. <coughs> power supply, capacitors, yeah. Capacitor. And I have 18.5, you can see. So our main 90 volts power is present. Then the 3.3. 3.4 volts. Okay, so it's present. Now the voltage on the power button. So that ribbon cable is coming from the power button has a ribbon cable which is going on this side here no wait I'm confused so it's not this one wait 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 Probably has a cable which is come yeah yeah look here this one this one and it's going some somewhere on the other side of the board okay we can check the voltage here oh uh, <laughs> lol someone work here because of the power button but check here on the power button we don't have that plastic uh, it's probably someone work here. So that connector is supposed to have a plastic over, right? Should be a plastic bit to push the cable. Probably someone work here. And that makes sense then. Yeah, clearly someone work here. But I still want to know. It's a Chinese sticker. I, I still want to know if we have 
Three point three here. Okay. And I think I will plug the battery. Yeah, I will plug the battery. Let's see if we have voltage. We still have the three point three there. Yeah, we do. So uh, ground. Let me get the ground from somewhere. And plus nothing. Nothing. Well, there's no voltage here. Nothing. Oh yeah, we hit, we do have it seen on the screen three point three. Let's see if we can find another one. No. Zero. 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 Three point three. Wait, we have this a three point three. This one, so this is 3377, and this one is 3373. So, most likely, this is the power button, the hot wire. So, let's try to power up uh, this board okay? just to see if the laptop is working. We have ground it looks like I, I seen the button the the light there yeah okay let me come with the power supply because I believe the battery is discharged power because we have to know if the laptop is good or not and it's taking 200 milliamps same like before probably because the battery is not charging and I push the power button, and the current goes up to 2 amps. 2 amps. And I can't see a picture on the screen. Or it's just charging. It's taking 2 amps because it's just charging. Possible. Maybe this is no ground. It's no ground on this board. Uh, okay, let's find the ground from this board. Yeah, from this. Uh, sorry, this uh, ribbon cable, all flex cable, and the ground is the first pin. Let's unplug the battery. Oh wait, and the laptop is still taking one amp. I took out the battery, the laptop is still taking one amp. I can't see picture on the screen. Okay, let's unplug the power. Plug the RAM memory. Let's take out this RAM memory, move the RAM memory here. Power back, taking zero. Let's try one more time. Yeah, and the laptop is coming on 1.2 amps, 1 1.3, 1 1.4. 
1.8 there's no picture on the screen but we have two problems it is something what I don't like a well, laptop came with a fault and actually has two faults so first problem is the power button which is not working so what we can do with this power button just to move forward with this laptop has a very well known issue with the graphics first let's solve the problem with the with the power with the power button okay so what we can do here and it is a easy fix yeah i mean how you will fix it Hmm? how you will do it so what I'm doing usually I'm pressing these things down then I'm fitting the cable and uh, now you can stick it with some hot glue Yeah, and you see now the cable is going, you need a little bit of push, yeah, so now it's fine, I'm 100% sure it's fine. Now let's test if the power button is working. Ground. Plus, and it's taking nothing, pressing the power button. But uh, the power button is working, one amp. Okay? <clears throat> taking one amp, fixed current, one amp. We have no battery inside. Let's try something. Let's replace this RAM memory with the other one to be sure don't have a RAM memory issue <clears throat> okay pressing the power button one amp but exactly one amp that's weird I swear this is weird Okay, the power uh, power button, assist button. The assist button is taking different power, and the laptop is coming on. <coughs> I seen the picture there. And it's typing itself, or because I pressed here. Let's keep press the power button. Pressing the power button again. <clears throat> Taking one up. Taking one up and it's not coming on from the power button. That's strange. Pressing the assist button. Nothing happened. Let's power off. Power off and press the assist button. The laptop, you know, I can see the current. It looks like it's working. It looks like it's, and we have picture. Yeah, it, it is picture. I don't understand why this laptop is not working to be powered by the power button. Strange, right? And the only reason why it's doing something like that, you know why? Why you'll press the power button and the laptop is uh, is not displaying? 
You know any reason for that? Huh? You don't know? What about the hull sensor? Huh? What do you think about that one? How do I take that power button out? Well, that's strange, and it's part with the hinge. You have to take the hinge out to take the power button out. Come on. Yeah, looks like looks like Okay, so that's the power button, and the hull sensor is not here. Wow. That's the power button. Uh, I'm pretty sure the power button is good. Pressing the power button is not working. Pressing the assist button, it is working. No, the hull sensor is not here. The lead sensor. Uh, let's put this back. The problem is not from here. And I knew this from before. I mean, I seen uh, Sony laptops, uh, Sony Vio laptops. And actually, the customer broke the power button. He was starting the laptop from the assist button. So I've seen this before. Okay, plug back that thingy. Pressing the power button. Exactly one amp, exactly one amp. Let me try something else. Let me plug the hard drive. Pressing the power button and it's working. Okay, so you see without the hard drive, uh, it will not do anything. And it's loading the windows. Well, that was an easy fix. Let's solve the problem with the uh, with uh, with the power button. So we push the pins, and now we can put some hot glue and seal the job.
Hold on. So we don't have a graphics problem. All what was the problem was the, the power button. Let's test it one more time. Power on, and it's working, right? Taking 1.10 amps. Oh, we just replaced the RAM memory, okay. And it's not working. Can be a memory issue. Or what? Power off. Let's press the assist button. And with the assist button, it's working. That's sick. Power off. Power on from the power button and it's working. Okay, probably because we replaced RAM memory. Loading the window. Power off. Power on. Working here. Yeah. Power off. We are good. So, the hinge, after so many years, let's grease the hinge a little bit with petrol. Otherwise, it will come back with broken hinge. Everything seems to be fine here. It's no overheating, it's clean. You know, we, what we didn't check, one second, we didn't check the battery and the charging. Why the customer said it's charging slowly? Let's put back the battery. Power supply. Taking 200 milliamps. Let's wait. I, I, anyway, I can bet, you know, the customer has a dodgy charger. Because I've seen two amps. Battery was charging with two amps. But well, let's wait, probably take a while to start charging. Yeah, and the current is current is going up. We have like one amp. Even one lamp is fine. And with the laptop on, it's two amps. Let me power off. Power off. One amp. This is just a used battery. Because the charging current is given out from the battery power management chip, from the BQ chip. Yeah? So it's not the laptop. Like, how many will believe the charging current 
is made up by the ch charging circuit. No. Yeah. Battery speaking with the super IO. Super IO speaking with the uh, with the uh, with the charging IC. Okay. And that's how the car the charging current it is set up. Just a dodgy battery because the laptop it is uh, it is able to carry current. We've seen it, yeah. Power on two amps. So I'll stop this. Uh, this is just you know a simple job. Was only the charging uh, the the power button uh, problem because someone broke the the plastic which was keeping the 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 ribbon cable pressed on the board. And we fix it how we know. That's the only way how you can fix it. I mean, I can't see other way. What you'll do? You'll order this board, the power button board. You just push the pins down, plug the cable, and put some hot glue, and that's all. Okay? I'll not keep you here. I'll put it all back together myself. I'll say thank you for watching. I guess subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Just have a nice weekend. Bye.